Today, we are making a cost-effective cheesesteak. I'll explain that further. Here's what you're gonna need. We are going to use frozen meat, the steak um. It says it contains six steaks. It really is about two servings worth if you're eating a normal sized cheesesteak. You can't make an authentic Philly style cheesesteak without cheese whiz, so we're gonna use that. And then one onion. Here's the breakdown of the price. The bread I got from the you know single serve area in the supermarket. The meat, two servings, they were $6 total. The onion and cheese. So right about there, we're looking at seven or eight dollars total for the cost of this steak we're going to dice up this onion but so the main point here is like josh weissman and a lot of people make videos where they're like a three dollar cheese steak but the ingredients they're using cost 30 40 dollars they're just using a portion of a steak they bought or other breakdowns to make it justified as super cheap but you need to spend a lot more so i was trying to send, spend the cheapest amount possible here so back to cooking, we're gonna put some oil in that pan. We're going to brown these onions. You don't wanna make them soft, so, uh, salt them nicely. You don't wanna make them soft. You want to still have a bite in your cheesesteak. So we're just gonna brown these. Try to get a little bit of color on them and then take them off the heat. That's right about where we wanna go. A little bit more here, but that's perfect. So I'm gonna pull these off now and we're gonna start our meat. Comes in these weird little strips of meat, flat packages. If this isn't your thing, I totally get it. You can move on. I know this grosses some people out, but trust me, these taste substantially better than they look and it's a cool alternative instead of having to buy steak. Toast up your hoagie or whatever you wanna call it and see the meat kind of melts down into this fairly decent looking cheesesteak like material cheesesteak is all i feel like the steak comes is good for anyway throw your onions back in we're going to heat them all back up now start to incorporate everything together that's the main goal here give it a little bit of salt there is sodium already in the steak um so you don't need to go crazy under salting here is going to be in your favor steak ums though do let out a very large amount of oil so to keep that at bay I do like to drain some of it out. As you can see now, it is a substantially less oily product, which is gonna make your, your sandwich a lot better and your bun won't get disgusting. Mix in that cheese whiz. I know it looks also gross here, but when you mix it together, it becomes gooey and delicious. And they use cheese whiz in Philly, and that's where the best cheesesteaks are. Fight me if you disagree. I'm not even from Philly. That's just where the best ones are from. Look at that, that's delicious. I like to start off by adding a little bit of mayo to the roll. Just gives it a little extra richness and I think it's delicious. Can't go wrong with mayo. And then load it up. You got your onions in there, you got your cheese in there and your meat all together. So just fill up as much as you can fit into that steak. I stupidly thought I would make it like deli style and wrap it in tin foil. I like doing this just because it kind of helps keep it together, but it didn't look nice. So here you go the six seven dollar cheesesteak whatever you want to call it i'm not going for the cheapest but this was the most cost effective and delicious you can make